Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. In this video, we're gonna talk about Kimmy Cakes because it is so darn easy like to drag this woman. Number one dragon. Kim Kardashian is so long irrelevant that the media has to be putting two other women's name in the said article so as to sell that report like kim is down bad normally there would be an article about kim kardashian alone and now they're saying kim kardashian dazzle in baby pink while salma ayak and olivia wilde brings the sexy appeal <laughs> and let me tell you <laughs> i'm sorry let me tell you this it is laughable and what kim is doing also is even funnier we have to hand it to kim she's funny and i think that we have been underestimating this girl and her comic oh kim round of applause okay round of freaking applause because kim wants to pull off that she is secretly engaged or secretly marry like yeah when i tell you that kim lacks individuality she lacks individuality with her brand with her image with her styling everything and now every day the moment that we spoke about her dressing in leather since last december um kimmy cakes was like okay let me switch it up but no she switched it up and she has gone to a white walker look. Have you seen Game of Thrones? Do you remember the white walkers? It's always predictable that the white walkers are going to show up in their uniform. And no doubt, Kim is dazzling in pink. She looks good though. She looks good, right? The body is bodying because she's covered from head to toe. And she's wearing a pink boot. And the next thing that is shocking is that Kim is heavy on the diamond rings. And what she's doing, she's wearing it on that wedding finger. <laughs> Who is going to marry to Kim? Ain't no man want that. These men are hella scared. They're running to the hills. They're running for their lives. They want to save their career. Kim, go away. You know, you're like a bad weather. When you come around, everyone suffer. They will be praying for the rain, but they don't want to see too much of you, Kimmy. Because look, they have to be put in Selma Ayek, Olivia Wilde, just to drown you out in that one article. It has never been this bad, girly. It has never been this bad. Like... Mm -mm -mm. But let us ask though, has Kim gone back to being that Dolce & Gabbana um, girl because she's dressed in Dolce & Gabbana from head to toe and we know Kim loves her, um, not Dolce & Gabbana, my apologies, Balenciaga I should say. I'm here talking about Dolce & Gabbana. No, she's wearing Balenciaga based on this report. So again, just to um let you guys aware of the events in case i missed that they were at the sec second annual caring for women gala in new york um kim kardashian is dazzling in this pink balenciaga piece um these celebrities are not gonna leave out their balenciaga i don't know what it is i think balenciaga has performed all its ritual that it can to keep whoever has worn their look you know attached to it now yes we saw ye as well recently you know shopping at balenciaga but we also have to be fear um, in saying that, Ye has never ever denounced Balenciaga because when everyone else was going in, Ye has always said that Demna will always be family and let's not just look at one person, let's look at what is going on in um, general as it relates to, you know, kids and how to protect them. Let's come up with a plan instead of just the witch hunt against Balenciaga because there are other people involved. Now, I'm looking at, going back to Kim, right? I'm looking at Kim's 
hair and makeup ain't no one's scalp is so white kim's um scalp is as white as kanye's backside like girl you can tell it's a wig um i'm gonna include a photo like it's just so distracting you know that white chalk line you know when Ye's backside was exposed as you look at kim's wig you see that chalky white line you can tell it's wig like I don't think a regular um guy did this. Um her um hairstyle is Chris Appleton. I don't think um this hair was done by Chris. The hair looks beautiful minus that white chalk line of a part. I know no one's scalp is as white as that unless they have some kind of dandruff going on, but the scalp honey, it's giving chalky white. But guys, back to that ring. Who is Kim trying to fool? Who is she trying to kid? So she wants to, um, you know, prove that Kanye isn't the one, only one who can pull off a mysterious wedding. Because here she is with a um, diamond ring on her Mary finger. And she has a diamond ring on each finger, right? So what she's basically saying in this moment is that if you want to dismiss the fact that I'm married, you can't because I'm wearing, you know, a diamond ring on each finger. So it's either I'm married or I'm engaged or I'm just going above and beyond to be like he, to prove to people that I can pull off a marriage. I can pull off a surprise marriage just the same. I wonder <laughs> if Kim is saying, I'm married to Bianca. Let me put on my ring. Because Kim is the Lulu, you know. And when it comes to Kim and her behavior, that is how she has been behaving. But guys, I really want to hear from you though. Because when you look at Kim, right? The pink is gorgeous on her skin. And I think the hair minus that white chart part, the hair looks beautiful. But why is Kim always dressing like a white walker ever since she has come out of that, you know, leather look? She has always been wearing the same thing, practically head to toe, you know, like a bodysuit dress, the boots and everything. And don't tell me it's her psoriasis. It's her playing it safe with fashion because she really doesn't know how to switch things up. Because once she starts wearing one thing, you bet your ass she's going to show up in several versions of that very same look. But hey, I want to hear from you guys. What are your thoughts about Kim trying to pull off her being married? Um, In a sense, her trying to one-up on Ye. I want to hear from you. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up, share if you care, and see you all later. Bye, guys.